Today I'm flying the long way to Salt Lake City from Boise, which means I'm going to Seattle first. And unfortunately for me, it is max nine plug door problem time. So expect delays, but that's the next trip report. Let's get our bag dropped and get through security. As I drove up to the airport, it started snowing. So it looks like some de-icing is in my future. Lovely Embraer 175 is coming up. But first, through security and hopefully no probing. Well, we made it through pre-check without too much difficulty. There were a couple of clear people in front of me, but uh, you know, clear versus pre-check is not really much of a distinction anymore, at least not here in Boise. Uh, it's different elsewhere, but not here in Boise. Um, it's winter time, shocking. Uh, so I'm wearing my kind of winter travel boots and I had forgotten that they have a metal shank in them. So I had to take my shoes off a of pre-check, which if, of course uh, everybody behind me kind of grumbled about that. Uh, I heard the, the uh, pre-check guy say, yep, that's been going on all day long. So a lot of people's winter boots, winter shoes have metal in them, not a big surprise. Uh, it quit snowing. I'm gonna flip it around here. Just kind of a gray, ugly day. Uh, but my aircraft should be landing momentarily and parking right in front of me here. So taking the long way to Salt Lake City to get there from here on anybody but Delta means you gotta go somewhere else first. So I'm going on Seattle. It's been, gosh, a couple years since I've been on Alaska. So this would be interesting. See what the current state is. My E-175 is operated by Horizon Airlines, so that should be fun. They welcome you by name. That was nice. I've been welcomed by name in a bit. So it's a walkout gate. Brr, door two. Oh, it's so awesome to always be out on the ramp. That's one of my favorite Ab Geek moments. Even though I am freezing. As you could tell from the seat tour, there is no seat back screen, so entertainment is on your own device. Looks like they got free texting, $8 Wi-Fi, free movies and TV shows, and if you're a T-Mobile customer, you get some extra perks. As is typical for me, let's check the movies. Perhaps there's something of your liking. Because these are always rotating, your experience could of course vary. I was hoping for some live TV, but it's all recorded TV. There are Alaska exclusives. 
didn't really check those out, I will leave that to you. My selection for today was Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. And like a lot of airlines these days, you must watch a commercial before you get to watch the movie. On to the flight. Snack time, and I'm really regretting not bringing a snack du jour today. Because we've got Stella Mini Braid Pretzels, which are gluten filled. They look really good, but uh, my neighbor has enjoyed his. But uh, Coke Zero and a movie. So that's what we're doing now. We'll probably have to finish the movie on the next flight. The tray table seems really low to me. I don't know. It's kind of kind of an observation, but lower than the Delta tray table. Whatever that means. Anyway, weird times. Other than that, Alaska's been... This is actually Horizon Airlines, so this is my first Horizon flight since a Q400 flight, I think, a while back, so it's been years. Depending on our arrival gate and time, I think I'm going to run down to the B gates and go to Relish and get a gluten-free bun burger. Um, it's one of my favorites. Um, one of my members asked me to show it next time, so I'm going to see if I can get down there if I have enough time. Um, we may arrive at the North Satellite and the B gates are in the main terminal, so we'll see how much time I've got. Stay tuned, that'll be on the next trip report, however. I don't know if I'm getting good colors on the GoPro here, but that is a beautiful sunset. I haven't had a sunset from the air in quite a while. It's one of my all-time trip highlights, no matter what trip I'm on. One last note that I omitted so far, but uh, I checked the Turbly before we left, and it indicated um, the flight would be turbulent, uh, moderate to light right on that line. So far it's been nice and smooth. My soda's not even rippling, so might have got this one wrong. Probably more turbulence when we land, is what the captain said. Descending, still no bumps, so it'll be on the ground in probably 10 more minutes. Cabin is being prepared. Turbly got this one wrong, at least to this point. It's been nice and smooth. got the landing part of this right as i finished the previous clip we went through a extended roller coaster period on our final approach into seattle so mostly wrong but they got the end of the flight exactly right Well, that pretty much wraps it up for segment number one of today's journey. Segment two will continue to Salt Lake City on a Boeing 737-900. If you have any questions or comments about flying on an E-175 with Alaska Airlines, please post those below. For what it's worth, the E-175 is my favorite regional aircraft, much better than the CRJs in my opinion. Regardless of where you believe the E-175 lines up, I'd appreciate if you'd give today's video a like. Like is one of the better ways for the YouTube algorithm to share my content with other viewers on the platform. Obviously, if you want to do even more, you could like and subscribe and hit that reminder bell. You'll be notified when future videos are posted. I do live streams Sundays at noon Eastern and Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern. Come on in and join the conversation. If you're already subscribed and want to do more, you can become a member of the channel and provide direct support. 
Members are awesome, and you get recognition here in the end credits of every video. So an extra special thanks to all my members. And I think that's going to wrap up part one. We'll see you next in part two. I'm going to go get a burger at Relish and then fly to Salt Lake City with a bit of a delay. All right. Happy travels, everyone.